probability and two-way tables and Venn diagrams. Now we're already pretty good at drawing Venn diagrams and two-way tables. I've got a Venn diagram here based on 50 people being surveyed about whether they liked coffee or tea. And we can fill in the two-way table because sometimes the two-way table is easier than the Venn diagram for probability. Who likes tea and likes coffee? These 20 people right here. Remembering that these four numbers in the Venn diagram go in the four centre parts of the two-way table. Who likes coffee but dislikes tea? The people in the coffee circle who are not in the tea circle, these 15. Who likes tea but not coffee? Tea but not these people in the coffee, just these 10 people here. Who dislikes both? Weird people. That's these five people hanging out here. We know the total has to come to 50 people and we can get the totals. We should know that the coffee is 35, 20 plus 15 is 35. We should know that tea is 30, 20 plus 10, 30. But we'll also get the total of people who dislike tea, 20. The people who dislike coffee, 15. So now we can use this to answer some probability questions. So a person is selected at random. Find the probability that this person likes coffee. So we need the total number of people who like coffee. This isn't anything in here. It's everybody who likes coffee. 35 out of everybody in the group, 50. Check if we can simplify that. 35 over 50, 7 out of 10. So that says two things. It says that the probability that a random person likes coffee is 7 out of 10, and it also says that 7 tenths of the group likes coffee. The probability that they like tea. Now, Liking tea is not the complement of liking coffee. The complement of liking coffee is dislikes coffee. So actually I reckon you could leap ahead and answer the probability that they dislike coffee because it's the complement of liking coffee. That must be 3 out of 10. But you've got to be very careful that it's definitely a complement because liking tea isn't the opposite of liking coffee. The probability that they like tea. We need the total number of people who like tea. 30 out of 50. We can simplify that by dividing by 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom to get 3 over 5. Probability that a randomly selected person likes both. Now when I like ask for the probability of liking both, I mean only the people who like coffee and T. 20 out of 50, 2 out of 5. The next place we're likely to get tripped up is in the OR questions. If I ask for the probability that someone likes coffee or tea, that means either coffee or tea or both. That's saying anyone who put their hand up at all for coffee or tea. If I wanted to ask about people who liked coffee or tea but not both, I'd have to say but not both. Because if I say or, it means either coffee or tea or both. If I say both or likes, or the other way I could say this is likes coffee and tea, if I say like they have to like both, or it's coffee and tea, then it's only the people with both. But coffee or tea is coffee or tea or both. So coffee or tea or both is easier to get from up here. Coffee or tea or both. 20 plus 10 is 30 plus 15 is 45. 45 out of 50. Check if you can cancel your fraction. 
45 out of 50, 9 over 10. Coffee or tea, but not both. That would be these coffee people and these tea people, but not these both people. 15 and 10, 25 out of 50. That's a half. So you've got to be very careful. Your both or your and language compared to your or language. Probability that they like coffee only. Again, easier to go to your Venn diagram. Coffee only. That is these coffee people, but not these coffee people because they like tea as well. 15 out of 40. Can we simplify? 15 out of 40. Yes, we can. Is that out of 40? It's out of 50. Sorry. 15 out of 50. I'm getting tired. 15 out of 50, 3 out of 10. So that's probability with a Venn diagram and a two-way table. For just one sort of option, like tea or coffee or doesn't like coffee, sometimes the two-way table is easiest. For the and and the or, and the or but not both, and even the only questions, sometimes your Venn diagram is more useful. It's up to you. Get this language really correct.